Hello, everyone, and welcome to story time. How are you all doing? Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited to join you today. How is everybody? Please make sure you share this. We're going to have an exciting day today. Does anybody know who I am? Can anybody take a guess? Just a little guess today. So excited to join you. Oh my goodness, we have so many people watching. Please share it with all of your friends. Hello, everyone joining. Hello, Madeline and Cece and Katie and Kellen and Lynn and everyone joining us. I'm so excited that you're here today. We are really excited to bring you this wonderful story today. I am Fairy Godmother and I'm so happy to be here. All the magic of the internet bringing us all together. Hi, Lily, it's so good to see you. Oh my goodness. We're just gonna give you all just a couple more moments to join and see how we can do this. I'm so excited. Are y'all ready for a wonderful time today? Give us lots of hearts and likes. Hit that heart button, hit it over and over and over and over again. We love it. I am so excited. I am just so, so, so excited to bring on a very dear and special friend of mine today. I created this wonderful magic mirror that she could join us. And everyone, please make welcome my wonderful friend and beautiful princess, Cinderella. Hello, everybody. Oh my goodness, what a bibbity bobbity beautiful day we're having today. Am I right, Godmother? It is wonderful. How is the wonderful magic mirror working for you today? Oh, I, I think it's working all right. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, oh that was ingenious of you. That was wonderful. A dream come true. That's what we're all about, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It sure is. Absolutely. I think I spy some friends up there hiding and kind of peeking around oh. the corner today. Well, they can't help themselves, you know. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Ever since, ever since you waved your magic wand and you said bibbidi bobbidi boo and you turned them into horses, well, I think they keep hoping that you'll cast another little magical spell on them. Oh, we Perhaps might be horses to... again. They loved it. They've never been so big before and they could move so very fast. Oh, you can God. only scamper so quickly as mice. Those little feet, I know they're so tiny. Yeah, they're tiny. It, <laughs> looks wonderful. And you know, I had this beautiful picture up here. You see it? One oh, of my... how lovely. Oh, one of my favorite memories with you. Mine's... It was when we first met. It was, it was. That was oh. such a, a lovely experience. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. In fact, I think we're gonna share a little bit about your story today, aren't we? Oh, I would absolutely love that. Would all of you like that? I think our friends would, oh my goodness, people are joining in. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness, that's so wonderful. We've got all these wonderful people watching and all these wonderful children. Oh my goodness, it's so amazing. Jacques, Gus, Gus, do you have your cheese popcorn ready? We're going to settle in for a story time, one of your favorite stories. Wow. You're in this story, and you're in this story, too. In fact, you play a very big part in this story. They do, don't they? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So I think we should tell, start telling this story today. What about, what about you? Oh, that would be wonderful. I, I would be honored to share my story and, of course, your story. But All you of our friends. You're the star of this story. I do. I really do. So I think I will start. All right. Is everyone ready? Everybody hit those hearts for me. You know, the little heart there, everybody hit those and like it and, and share it. We're gonna start the story about our wonderful princess friend, Cinderella. Once upon a time in a faraway kingdom, there lived a widowed gentleman and his lovely daughter, Ella. Ella was beautiful. She was such a beautiful girl. She had golden hair and her eyes were blue. I think that's you. It is me. This is my story. You knew oh, that. This is true. Oh, this, oh, it's so forgetful sometimes. See this gentleman, her father, he was very kind. He was a devoted father. And he gave everything to Ella, everything her heart desired. And he even felt that Ella needed a mother. So he married again choosing a wife who had two daughters. And what were their names again? Anastasia and Drizella. And oh. they weren't very nice. No. In fact, they had very bad manners too. That's right. Mm-hmm. They would always order me around. 
and be very, very selfish. And they were very jealous. If anyone had anything prettier than they had, well, they would want one just like it, only better. It sounds like a very sad experience for you. They were, probably weren't very nice to you, were they? No, they weren't. They treated me like a servant in my very own home. In your own home? That's so sad. <laughs> oh, and there were so many nights, I'm sure that you cried. I did, especially when my father left us and I was left with my stepmother, the Lady Tremaine, and Anastasia and Drizella, and they decided that I was going to be their very own personal maid. Doing things like sweeping the floor and washing the windows and cooking them breakfast every morning. And well, you know what? And they even made me live in the attic. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm. I only had my dear little mice friends. Well, and my bird friends for company. But you know what? I, I knew that one day my situation would get better. I always had courage and I was always kind, especially to the little creatures like my mice friends. And I sang a song in my attic, didn't I, every day? Oh my goodness, you did. Can we hear that song? I love that song. I would love to sing it. I would be delighted. Perhaps you'll sing along. A dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. In dreams you will lose your heartaches. Whatever you wish for, you keep. Have faith in your dreams and someday your rainbow will come smiling through. No matter how your heart is grieving, if you keep on believing the dreams that you wish will come through. Oh, that is such a beautiful song. I wonder how many times our friends that are watching our, our wonderful children have that have felt sad or are or, or lonely and they've had to sing songs just to help them feel so much better. That's a, such a beautiful song. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Absolutely, I was delighted. And yes, there were many times that I was worried that things would never change, but I knew in my heart that I could make things better for myself. And I'm lucky that I had friends holding my hand. Absolutely, our friends are so important for that, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They really, really are. Um, I, I, I think there was a, a time that I remember in your story where there was a breakfast time and I think some of your little friends got a little too involved with breakfast, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about that? Do you remember? Do you remember my stepmother's cat? Do you know what her cat's name is? Oh my goodness, Lucifer. Lucifer, a very appropriate name, right? <laughs> I think so, absolutely. And Lucifer always wanted to eat a mouse for breakfast. Of course, Lucifer had plenty of cat food, but Lucifer really wanted to eat. Oh, Gus Gus. Gus Gus always would get into trouble. That silly mouse. Yes, I know. He was always in the kitchen trying to steal that extra little bit of cheese. And then one day, he got in my stepsister's breakfast tray uh -oh. right under a teacup. And Godmother, can you guess what happened I... when my stepsister received her breakfast tea? I think she got a little scared and probably made a lot of noise and scream, didn't she? Oh my goodness, and then you got in trouble. I did, I got in a lot of trouble. My stepmother blamed the entire, everything that had happened on myself. And I had to do all these chores. They were horrible. I had to do so many more than I usually had to because she said that it was my fault. But it wasn't. Mm -mm. Those silly mice getting into everything. So I think they made you do more chores, like you had to wash the windows and do more laundry and all that stuff, just because they thought you were the one that did it. And we didn't have washing machines either. I had to do it all by hand in the garden. And you hadn't discovered magic, so the magic couldn't help you wash them either. No, 
the magic could not help me. Oh my goodness. Fairy Godmother, where were you at this point? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> I might pop up pretty soon, huh? So I remember in another part of the kingdom, there was a king. He was worrying about his son. His son really should get married. So the Grand Duke decided to send out invitations for a grand ball. Hmm. And that invitation was sent out to every lady in the land, including you. You were invited to that ball, huh? I was, I wanted to go to the ball more than anything, but my stepsisters and my stepmother didn't want me to go at all. That's very sad. Do you know why? They were jealous. They were jealous. And you know what? Someone may be beautiful on the outside, but you have to be beautiful on the inside. And when people are not beautiful on the inside, they tend to get jealous of people that are. This is because true. Because they're angry and sad and they want everyone else to feel angry and sad, just like them. Yes. And I think if I remember correctly, I don't think you were mean back to them at all, were you? No, no, because I felt sorry for them. Yeah. Well, occasionally I was a little bit sassy in my most private moments. But that's okay. We can be sassy in our private. <laughs> I was a little bit sassy sometimes, and I had my friends to vent to and to talk to. Yep, your little friends were so amazing to you at that time yeah, that you they needed. Were. Them. They, in fact, they helped me make a dress for the ball. That's right, because you probably had no dress because you were treated like a servant. I didn't have any time. In fact, my stepmother wanted to make sure that I couldn't go to the ball. And so she gave me an entire long list of chores to do. And I had my mother's dress in the attic, but it was terribly old fashioned. I couldn't possibly wear it to the ball. So Gus Gus and Jacques and, and Susie and Perla and all the birds, well, they helped me make Godmother the most beautiful dress. That's what friends are for, right? They do. Friends do amazing stuff for us sometimes when we need their help. Above and beyond. Absolutely. That's such a beautiful dress. I'm sure you loved it so much because it was partially your mother's dress. It was. It meant so very much to me because of my mother and because my friends had helped make it. And then when I came downstairs, Godmother, do you know what happened? It was a very sad situation. They were so, so jealous. They were. They, they shrieked and they screeched and they tore my dress to shreds. The beautiful dress that my friends had made for me, they destroyed it completely in a jealous rage. And they all yes. left you. I was very, they all left me. They all went to the ball without me and I had nothing to wear. All I had were these horrible rags and I was so sad. I went to the garden out behind our house. Oh, you're getting excited about this, aren't you? <laughs> of course you are, Godmother. Because what happened then when I was crying and alone and sad and I thought my situation would never get any better? Oh my goodness, I remember watching you from a distance and I said, I have to help, I have to help her. So I peered magically out of nowhere. Remember that? You were so scared. You were like, who is this? Oh my goodness, you were so scared. You really were. But I wanted to dry your tears and I wanted to give you hope because I knew that your heart was so pure and so innocent and, and everything that you had gone through, you needed something beautiful to happen because a dream is the wish the heart makes, right? Yeah, I remember that. So I had to find all kinds of things to make you something. And I remember there was this pumpkin. Yeah, there was a pumpkin sitting over in the corner and I just waved my magic wand. Where's my wand? I misplaced that wand so much. Oh my goodness, who goes for that wand. <laughs> I'll find it later. I said, wave that one and I said, bippity boppity boo. And what, oh my, that's it. It turned into this big, beautiful carriage. I loved it. But then we had to realize that that carriage couldn't drive itself, could it? I had to turn all your little friends, like we were talking earlier, mm -hmm. into big, mighty horses and coachmen. They did so wonderful. I was so proud of them. Oh my goodness. They were such, such wonderful, wonderful help. And then I was ready to send you off. But, but wait, I, I couldn't go off yet, Godmother. Oh, that's like, right. I had nothing to wear. You were in a really torn up dress, weren't you? I was. How could I possibly go to the ball like that? 
So we just had to spring up a little bit more magic and a bippity boppity boo it. And you had such an amazing, beautiful gown. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It was the most beautiful dress I had ever seen. And you know what I had to wear on my feet? I know you know about this. Glass I mean, slippers. Yes, mm -hmm. just for you. Oh, yes. And I was on my way to the ball and I was so excited, except for one thing. You had one rule. What was that? I had to return by midnight. Because when the clock struck 12, everything would go back to the way it was before. The pumpkin coach would become an ordinary garden pumpkin again. And while well, the horses would turn back into mice and my dress would turn back into rags, except for you gave me something as a gift. And you didn't know that. We'll talk about that later, won't we? Anyway. <laughs> That's so fun. I love my little sneaky surprises that I gave you. So I, you went, to, you went to the ball. I did and I saw Prince Charming. Oh. And the moment I saw him, I knew that he was the one for me. And while well, we danced together, did you know that? I heard you danced all through the night. It was all so night long, gazing into each other's eyes. In fact, oh, my, I, I, we were so, how do you say it? We were so enamored with each other. We were so in love and infatuated with each other that we, well, we didn't even talk. We just sang. All we okay. did was sing together. Do you have another song that you sang? I would I love to hear this. Oh my goodness. It brings me back all the feelings of that romantic evening. <laughs> so this is love. Mm -hmm. So this is love. So this is what makes life divine. I am all alone. And now I know the key to all heaven is mine. My heart has wings and I can fly. I'll touch every star in the sky. For this is the miracle that I've been dreaming of. So this is love. Oh, that's such a beautiful song. No wonder he fell in love with you. Oh my goodness. Oh, shucks. Oh, my goodness. You flatter me, Fairy Padma. But at that very moment, we stopped singing together, and then the clock struck 12. Uh-oh. You had to run. I did. And I ran. I ran as fast as I could. I didn't want him to find out who I was, that I was only the servant girl from the village. And I left something on the steps of the palace. Uh, you left one of those slippers, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, I'm sneaky. Except you left me one as a gift. You left me one slipper as a gift so that I could remember all about that lovely night. It was a finer night that I knew I would never see again. I am sneaky. <laughs> so everything turned back, the pumpkin, the mice, everything changed and you were back in your rags, weren't you? Mm-hmm. I so was. you had to hurry off to home before your uh, stepmother and stepsisters got there because you didn't want them to know that you were there. Mm -hmm. I got there in time. I got there just in time. But Good. my stepmother, she heard me singing to myself and waltzing with the mop and she had her suspicions. Uh, and then I think she locked you in your attic again. Oh, how sad. But I heard that you had made such an amazing impression on that prince and that you left that slipper behind. Hmm. So he came looking for you, didn't he? He did. The Royal Duke came from house to house to house looking to find a maiden that fit the glass slipper. I put a little extra magic in those slippers because I'm sure there were many people who had the same size shoe as you. 
but they were not going to fit because it was your shoe. I wondered how that happened. We never discussed that. Well, that's so magical, Godmother. <gasps> oh, I love magic. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. Our hearts were the right fit for one another. There you go. <laughs> True. That. Absolutely. So I assume that they came to your house. Were they you did. Right? Well, I wasn't there either, but I heard, I could hear my stepsisters shrieking and screeching. They both wanted the shoe to fit them. But do you think the shoe fit either one of them? Nope, because their heart was too ugly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, oh, and remember how my stepmother had locked me in my room? Yes. My mice friends, well, Jacques and Gus Gus, well, they stole the key from my stepmother's pocket and they went up those many, many stairs all the way, yes, all the way to my attic room to let me out. Look at them. That was a big key for little mice to carry, but they were strong and really strong for you, weren't they? They were, indeed uh, they were. And they let me out of my room and I came downstairs. But do you know what my stepmother did to the slipper, the glass slipper? She knew it was going to fit my foot. And so she decided that she was going to break it. Oh my goodness. But... <laughs> that magical thing I happened. Mm -hmm. You had another one. I had another one in my pocket and I put it on my foot in front of all of them and it was a perfect fit. Oh my goodness. That's so amazing. I'm sure your stepsisters and your stepmother were not very happy. They were very surprised. My stepmother fainted. Oh, oops. That happens sometimes. Did they call for the prince? Well, the grand, the royal duke did. Yeah. Yes, yes, he went to go get the prince, exactly. And the prince came to my home and he swept me up in his arms and we shared in true love's kiss. Oh. And well, he proposed marriage that very day. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. Oh, and as always, you live happily ever after. Look at my little mice friends. They were so, look at them celebrating. They're always in the picture somewhere celebrating. I love your little friends. We lived happily ever after. Thanks to oh. a little bit of help from my friends. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Cinderella, for sharing your story. Oh, thank you for sharing it with me, Godmother. It's so wonderful to see you. It's so wonderful to see you. It's been so long. It I'm is. glad that we could create this wonderful little experience here. And we have so many friends watching still. Um, oh. If they could just show us some love and send us some hearts, we would love that. And in fact, if you will, we would love to take some questions. Would you mind answering some questions to our friends? Oh, I would absolutely love that. And you as well, Godmother. Absolutely. So they'll send them on over to me and then I'll read them off and we can answer them. Well, magic does take a little time, so we may have to wait a moment. You taught me that. Uh, correct. Sometimes we have to wait. That's correct. So any of our little friends, I'm so excited you all have joined us today. I saw the hellos. Um, let me scroll up in my magic mirror. Oh, my goodness. How many people? So Sarah and Mia say Cinderella is their favorite princess. Oh, hello. And that was Mia and Sarah. And Sarah, yes. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Mia. It's wonderful to speak with you today. I hope you enjoyed story time. And Luke says hello. Oh, hello, Luke. And then we have Lily and Dreama. Hello, Lily. Hello, Dreama. What beautiful names you both have. Did you know that I have a little new foal in the stables named Lily? Oh my goodness. A little white foal at Disney World right now, being that's trained to drive my carriage. Oh, that's so amazing. Mm -hmm. I love the name Dreama. It's like, it's yeah. dream. I know it is. What beautiful names. Definitely princess names. And then we have Ariana and Jackie. Hello, Ariana. Hello, Jackie. How are both of you today? And then Lily says, hello, fairy godmother. Hello, Lily. Oh my goodness. And Dante says, hello. Hello, Dante. Oh my goodness. Madeline says that she loves your dress. Thank you very much, Madeline. You'll have to say that you, you'll have to tell fairy godmother all about that. Fairy godmother takes credit. Has all these beautiful little magic swirls on it too. Just your finishing touch. 
Exactly. You know, I try to do those little bit of extra things. Um, so Bella says, hi, fairy godmother and Cinderella. Fairy godmother is her favorite. Oh my goodness. Oh. Hello. Fairy godmother is my favorite too, Bella. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so exciting. Let's see how to, oh, Dreama says, thank you, fairy godmother for protecting Cinderella. You're welcome. Thank you, fairy godmother. And Lynn wants to know, what's your favorite dessert? My favorite dessert. Oh, you know what? I do like pumpkin cheesecake because then I get an extra little bit of pumpkin. I love it. It tastes so seasonal. I love all the cinnamon and the nutmeg and, of course, the relation to my pumpkin carriage. And then if it's cheesecake, I can share it with my little friends, the mice. Oh, I'm sure they love that. Zach and Gus Gus love cheesecake. It's one of my favorite things to bake as well. And I can serve it up with a little dollop of whipped cream on top. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. What's um, your favorite dessert, Fairy Godmother? I have to say I love cheesecake. I do because we can share them with our friends. And I love a good sweet tea. A hot tea with a little bit of sugar in it. It's so dandy. Love it. Do you stir it with your wand? I do, if I can find my wand. <laughs> you know I lose that you all You never time. can find your wand, it's true. <laughs> it's always getting lost. Oh my goodness, so um, we got so many wonderful questions. Uh, Michaela says hello. Hello, Michaela. And oh, um, Vicky asks, do you ever see your stepsisters? I do see my stepsisters. Did you, is it Vicky? Yes. Hello, Vicky. Yes, well, my stepsisters apologized to me a very long time ago. And while they've been on their best behavior, they're really trying hard to be better people and to be kinder and more loving because they realize that that's the only way that people will respond nicely to them and love them and be kind to them. That's the only way they'll be able to make friends if they're kind. So they're learning, but I think they still have a long ways to go. They're actually in the other room right now. They're doing their music lesson. I've shut the door, so don't worry. You don't have to listen to them. Oh. <laughs> they're getting a little bit better, I promise. Do you know what song they like to sing? What song do they like to sing? They're still working on Sing Sweet Nightingale. Oh, still? They're still working on it, I know. Well, oh, you know, everyone goodness. has different talents, Godmother. True. This is true, and this not might, they, those might not be their talents, but they're working very hard at it. And you know, work hard at anything, and and you'll become accomplished at it and good at it. I believe it takes a lot of hard work and practice. It does. That's, that's very true. Um, Jenny wants to know. Hi, Jenny. What, what is Cinderella's favorite planet? Oh my goodness! What is my favorite planet? I don't think I've ever thought of that before. I think I'd love to go to the moon and waltz amongst the stars. I think a ballroom on the moon would just be divine and heavenly. Oh my goodness, that would it be was, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. It was a full moon the night that I first met my prince and we waltzed together at the ball. And I think if we shared a date together waltzing in a ballroom on the moon, I think that would be just divine. That would be very divine. Absolutely. Actually, that was Lily that asked that question. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, Lily. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lily. What a wonderful question. And uh, Andrew says, uh, hi, Cinderella and Fairy Godmother. Hello, Andrew. Um, I miss Disney World so much. Thank you for helping me get my Disney fix. Oh, we miss it too. We miss it very much. I can't wait to go to my castle away from my castle at Disney World. It looks just like my real castle, of course. I can't wait to go there soon. What about you, Godmother? Oh my, I'm so excited to get to go again and greet all of my friends. Um, oh, we'll be there soon, soon enough. Absolutely. Callie says, I love you. I love you too, Callie. Thank you, Callie. Sending much love to you. Mackenzie says she loves us. Oh, we love you too, Mackenzie. Oh, Cece says, I love cheesecake. Oh, <laughs> oh Which, uh, I just want, most people love cheesecake, I would say. Although, you know, they're, everyone has different tastes. Everyone is different and that's what makes the world exciting. Exactly. Let's For example, Snow White likes gooseberry pie, by the way. Cheesecake is not her favorite. Gooseberry pie is her favorite. Oh, I remember her talking about her gooseberry pies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Grumpy likes them too, a lot. 
He won't admit it, but he does. <laughs> Never. Malaysia says hello. Hello, Malaysia. Um, Mackenzie says, thank you for reading the story to us today. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you, Mackenzie, for listening and joining us. Lynn wants to know, do you like to sing Cinderella? I love to sing. That was from Lynn. Yes. Hello, Lynn. I love to sing. Do you like to sing? Sometimes I find myself singing and I don't even know it. I'm just humming a song and then I hear the mice singing along behind me and I was like, oh my goodness, I've been singing this entire time. They're, they're harmonizing with me. That's so amazing. I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness. So, um, yes, I think Lynn does. Lynn, um, you've met Lynn before. I remember I've worked with Lynn at Walt Disney World so many times over the years. Oh my goodness. She's been a wonderful, wonderful friend. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm so sorry I didn't remember, Lynn. It's hard to see on this magic mirror, but it's lovely to speak with you again. And I hope I get to see you again really soon and give you a hug. I'm missing hugs right now, aren't you, Godmother? Oh, I'm so missing so many hugs. Um, Heather and Savannah say, they would love, they say hello and they would like to know what your favorite color is. Hello, Heather. Hello, Savannah. Well, my favorite color is blue. And Fairy Godmother just happened to know that when she made me my beautiful dress. Although I'm not gonna turn down any color of the rainbow. I like them all. Yes. But I would say my favorite, favorite is blue with a little bit of glitter and sparkles. Oh, oh we have to have the glitter and sparkles, absolutely. Let's see, and um, oh, so Kaylin says we love peanut butter and jelly. Oh, that's a wonderful snack, very healthy too. It is. Mm -hmm. um, Madeline says that she likes chocolate cheesecake with strawberries. Oh, that sounds especially decadent, doesn't it? it oh my goodness, it does. Uh, and Monet says, I love you. Aww. Hello, Monet. Oh, we so love you too. Oh, what a beautiful name. It is such a beautiful name. Absolutely. Do I have any more questions or anything anybody wants to say to us? Anything else? Please put your little hearts. Love, love us, love us. <laughs> oh, we love those hearts. We love seeing those hearts fly up and down. We really love that. I think um, Katie earlier said that she loves Cinderella. Oh, thank you very much, Katie. I love you too. And sending all my love to you and your loved ones at home. Absolutely. We definitely love you all. Uh, Dreama loves to sing and dance and miss all the hugs too. And she said, thank you for singing to her today. Oh, you are so welcome, Dreama. Keep singing and keep dancing and keep practicing them. Who knows? Maybe you'll sing on a big, beautiful stage one day or dance for an audience. Wouldn't that be amazing? You can do anything that you set your heart to. We know that. Mm -hmm. We know that just takes a little bit of love and friendship. Nice. And friends helping you along the way. This is true. Oh, well, Cinderella, I thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Godmother. It was such a pleasure to see you again and to talk to all of your friends and all of my friends now too. So wonderful to see you. Everyone is just sending so much love to us. Um, we thank you all of our friends for joining and, and getting to share in our conversation and our story and songs today. Please everyone be safe, share a hug with your family, be healthy and remember a wish is a dream that your heart makes. And always have courage and be kind and be kind. Thank you so much for sharing with us today, Cinderella. I send you all my love and we'll see you soon, okay? Goodbye, everybody. Bye -bye. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye, Godmother. Bye, everybody.